Hello everyone, I'm Sean Boyd here at Cal OES headquarters in Mather, California. We have some good news to report. 150 fires have been contained since Sunday. Unfortunately though, the fatality count has gone up to 41. And of course the battle continues. We will not cease to continue battling these wildfires. Coordinating leadership have traveled to the affected areas several times and they continue to do so again today. So we caught up with each of those leaders today before they left to survey the damage. Well, let me just start off by saying we are in the eighth day uh, of this catastrophic fire situation and we are not slowing down. We are still all hands on deck. In fact, we have additional resources pouring into California and we are in the process of effectively uh, putting those, those resources to work. Uh, whether they're backfilling to give the crews on the line a break or we are putting them into a staging in, in preparation for anything else that could break uh, in the coming days. And while all of that is on the radar, the firefight is beginning to turn the corner thanks to a couple of major factors. Obviously the winds uh, have died down. We had significant winds uh, predicted over the weekend. Some of those uh, surfaced in Northern California, created some uh, increase in intensity on the Nuns fire, but overall the winds uh, have diminished and that has allowed firefighters to get in on the fire line, get air tankers, aircraft uh, over the fires. I can tell you today, all 18 of the federal aircraft in the country, the Forest Service aircraft are committed to California. We'll move resources throughout California up and down the state, either north to south, or uh, the state will bring in state to state, or we'll bring in federal crews from across any of the federal agencies to help uh, wherever we need them. So there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes, both predicting and then responding once we have a start. Also turning the corner, the move from response to recovery. You know, the firefighters have done an unbelievable job of managing this event. Uh, and now as we start to transition to recovery, our job is to coordinate all the federal agencies uh, to support state and local governments in helping individuals affected by this disaster. The National Guard continues to be involved in both fire suppression activities as well as consequence management. And by consequence management, we really mean helping people get back to getting their lives back to normal. We appreciate the support of all the law enforcement agencies, the local law enforcement agencies and our federal partners and we very much appreciate the public's patience and just want the public to understand that everybody here throughout the state is working on their behalf to help them uh, get through this uh, devastation. All right, so here's a look at the current updated numbers as of right now. As I mentioned, unfortunately we've added one fatality to the total numbers, that totaling now 41. Right now we have nearly 40,000 folks evacuated with 5,700 plus structures destroyed, and an updated number of 213,000 acres have been burned. And that, of course, comes from those 14 large wildfires burning throughout here in Northern California. We will update you on all of these numbers throughout the day. If you go and check out our website, oesnews.com and caloes.ca.gov, all of the latest information will be there, as well as the information that you need to know about getting disaster assistance. You can call uh, this number, this is a FEMA hotline number, 800-621-3362. That's 800-621-FEMA, F-E-M-A. But the best place to go to get your disaster assistance ball rolling is disasterassistance.gov. That is also a FEMA uh, website. That is, again, disasterassistance.gov. I'm Sean Boyd here at Calloway's headquarters in Rancho Cordova, Sacramento, California, Mather. We'll see you soon.